so the 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 problem is the is the is the following. So if we if we're looking at the um, at our impulse response here, so if we if we go go back to to our age here and um, and we plot this here, then the problem is this this function will continue in this direction here and also in in the other direction. But um, but this is just just essentially chopped chopped off here at this um, at this point here. So if I in, if I remove this here, so and we have this um, window function here, and um, so so this this looks a bit like like an oscillation, and then this oscillation getting bigger, the impulse response, and then it's getting getting smaller again. So something something like that. So that's our H of n, and that's here n. So continue like this. But the problem is here, this opposite stops here, stops here at some, at some point here. So, and then this also also stops here. But the but the problem is that this would would continue here further. But um, the function is is basically limited limited in its number number of samples here. So it's um, essentially set to set to zero beyond the samples. And um, and so and so this. This then um, creates creates if you're doing the um, doing the Fourier transform Fourier transform here creates this this poor response here. Yeah, so if we have um, here our h of k, and here we have we have here the, the response, and then we have here this kind of ringing, and then it goes goes down, and we have here another ring uh, with a ringing. And then it goes down, and we have here ringing again, and so so here we have a poor fifty hertz rejection, and here we have we have ripples, so we need to need to fix fix two things here yeah so so need to need to need to fix the ripples and um that's an s here ripples and we need to fix the stop band Stop band performance. So both both factors are um, are not ideal. And so and so how can we how can we fix that? And so the So the solution is the so-called so-called window function. So what does it mean, window function? So we have we have our um, our original impulse response here. And we and we multiply this here with the function w here. So that's our window function. And um, with that we are getting a new impulse response. Let's call this here h new. And then this has some um, hopefully better better performance. In terms of in 
in terms of um, ripples and stop bound rejection. Rejection. So, stop bound rejection. So the question is now obviously um, what what kind of um, omega, uh, sorry, w of n could we could we take here? And so what's the what's the idea now of of creating this um, w n to to have a better better response of that? So what kind of shapes of or window functions? So general idea is to have a smooth smooth um, transition to the smooth smooth transition to zero. at the edges. So we had this already before when we talked about the Fourier transform. And so so the idea is that the um, that simple simple windows window function is is something something like if this is here the midpoint, so it's a number number of samples this and this has not W not h w of n that this looks like that for example and this here goes to m minus one so that's the so that at its midpoint um, we have something like this so that's called a triangular triangular window So let's just um, get this get this function here here in our in our script. So we don't need to need to filter anything just now. So we just we just move this plot our our HF here with a decibel in our script so that we have this. So so that's hopefully now the same response. We had we had without. Here we go. So so here we've got our our problem function. So just now damping is only only minus twenty five decibel, and um, and we have here this ringing up here. So the question is now: Can we can we improve this here in um, by by adding adding window window functions to it? And so let's let's see if we. If you're able to to improve that, so if we if we add here h equals h multiplied by numpy um, and then Bartlett and um, I just need to need to give it the number the number of samples here and um, these are two hundred um, four hundred one. So let's see let's see if this looks now better. So we see we have a we have a slight slight improvement compared compared to the to the other to the other window here because here this this rigging now is gone and the damping is um, slightly better better than than before. So what are actually the performance criteria? performance criteria. Criteria for for FIR filters. Remember, they are linear phase anyway, so so that's a good thing. So we don't need to need to bother um, think about this. But there are other factors we need to discuss now, and so. 
so remember what we what we also saw in the in the plot of our bind stop filter. So if we have something like this, d two j omega. So that's a that's a realistic filter response. Remember the bind stop would just go go back up there, but we we just um, have a look at this here. So then can we see here? So we have we have ripple ripple here. So that's that's called the the passband ripple. Again, can be also expressed as just the amplitude ratio, but usually usually in decibel. And then, and then of course we have the same, the same here. So that's a so-called stop band ripple. And then here we are, um, we have the transition width. Transition widths, and so, so therefore, if we are designing FIR filters, we would like to to um, specify. Usually, we we, we would, would like to specify the maximum amount of ripple here, the maximum um, stop band ripple here, or stop um, stop band rejection, stop band ripple or rejection, and then also do, um, specify the transition widths. So these are the are the criteria or the different criteria we look at if we want to um, evaluate a filter if a filter is is good or bad. So back to our stop band filter. And um, let's have a have a look how, how different windows um, influence all these parameters. Yeah, so so now test windows windows on on our fifty hertz stop band stop band filter. So let's see. Triangular window. Which is also called um, Bartlett window. That's um, Obviously, very simple. That that just goes goes up and down here, and so and so. What we what we see here that ripples drastically reduced. Reduced, yeah, but. Um, the stop band rejection is similar to to the one without windowing. Is it really the case? Let's have a look here. Um, and so if we if we do a do a do a proper proper com, um, comparison here, so we plot so we plot first our age without doing anything, and then we are we are applying Bartlett here to it, and we and we plot this into another into another figure.
So that's figure two and that's figure one. And so, so we see here the the difference. So we, um, also we see that the that the damping is pretty much the same. So um, a bit below twenty minus twenty five decibel. But but what we see here, so the ringing is is gone, but the but the um, stop and rejection is the same. So what we also see is here that the transition width, so how deep it goes, is um, slightly um, is slightly wider than um, in the in the rectangular window or in the in the no in the no windowing um, condition here, but it's it's hardly visible. So a very popular function is the so-called Hunning window, and that's actually actually slightly wrong. It should be actually actually the um, the Hun window because because this is here actually um, Hun is a Austrian meteorologist Julius von Hun. But um, usually in the English-speaking world, just called Hunning window. And so, how does this how does this window look like? Um, so the window is is defined as W H of n equals to alpha plus one minus alpha cosine of 2 pi n divided by by m with um, n in the region of m half and zero otherwise. So if we if we plot that, so there's so there's m m half and there's minus m half then this um, is is essentially something like a like a cosine i should mention the alpha factor is 0 0.5 so that's the that's the hunting window window function so let's um, let's try try this here out so if we replace the bartlett here With Hunning, let's see how this looks like. And so, so here we see there's there's now a drastic improvement here. So that's again our figure one without any any windowing. And then here we've got the the Hunning window, which goes here down to down to roughly 56 decibel. And so, so we see already. If I get rid of this here, that we have a um, excellent excellent stop band rejection. But um, we we trade this in with a wider transition width. And um, but but then also what is also much better is um, very little ripples. So in, in general, quite a quite a nice window, and um, we see that just by by applying this window function, that it's pretty impressive that we're able to to improve the performance of our filter just by by using this operation here. Okay, so let's move on to the humming window. Humming window. So the humming window is um, is quite similar to the Hunning window, 
but just that that this alpha factor is 0 0.5054 and and not 0 0.5 so it's just a slightly slightly change of the of the function again the the response looks essentially like a like a cosine visually that's an m half and it's minus m half visually not not much not much difference here so that's our our function here, but there's a um, but there's an interesting property of that. So if we if we look at our at our response, so we, so if this is here h of k k, then then if we have our barn stop filter here, we will see that this will go go like this. So here we have we have a semi flat flat response here. There's um, quite a similar window there around which is called the humming window. We use the same formula as the one for the Hunting window, but with alpha equals to 0 0.45. Same formula as before. So again, we have we have a um, something like a cosine like like response, which looks like that. So that's our our window function here, but the um, the the interesting thing thing of that one is that the stop band um, response looks a uh, looks a bit a bit different. H of e two j omega. So if we have so that's. That that has these um, bumps inside here, so so if we have a wider wider stop band here, then we have a semi flat response. So the so let's have a look how this looks like with these bumps. What we get here in in Python. So if we replace the humming, so if we do if we do that here and do the humming window, so then we see here here these um, this response in the middle where where we have suddenly here this this bump on the, on the side. And so if we if we're making a slightly wider wire transition widths here this this might just just repeat here a couple of times so let's close this here again and so so again we have um, virtually no no pass band ripples And um, but we have this um, so comparable comparable performance to to the Han window. But the difference is so the so the hunting window or the hunt window the hunt the hunt window has
has the lowest point in the stop band whereas the other one doesn't so now finally the black man window so the black man the black man window is the one which uh, which has the best stop band rejection so the so the black man window without drawing the the mathematical formula for this but it looks looks pretty much again what we had before that that it looks like this here but in this case here it's um composed of of two cosine functions so let's have a look at the at the blackman window Blackman, so just restart this again, just to be sure that it's really the black man. It's a, um, it must be because uh, the damping of the black man is very impressive. So we see here, it's a damping is at minus seventy two two decibel, so it's a very very strong performance. And it gives us gives us an excellent stop band rejection here. So Blackman window gives us the the best the best stop band. stop band rejection but what we um, trade in for this is the widest transition width that's um, easy to see when we compare this especially especially with the with the condition with no window function in it Let's just bring it here back up. So the so the black man window here he generates us a slightly slightly wider. It's very hard to see here in this in this scenario. Let's see. So that's here roughly at um, between forty five and fifty five. So if I do do the same here. So then we see here that the um, transition that we have here very steep steep transition here, obviously with the ringing in it, but then on the um, on on the, on the other side here, so at the forty five here, this goes down very very quickly. Whereas here, we see here we have got a massive wide transition here going from forty five down down nearly to fifty. So it might be even that the um, full damping is not reached here because it's it's so so slow here. 